WD18, welcome to your instant match reaction. It finished at Vicarage Road, unfortunately. Watford 1, Leicester City 2. I'll get into it, but there were a lot of positives there. Unfortunately, I wasn't at Vicarage Road today because I got I was on the way from Birmingham down to Watford Junction, got to Northampton, all of a sudden the train got cancelled, which was just my luck, and I wouldn't have been able to get there in time. So had to settle uh, for watching it from home. And I expected the worst, to be honest with you, going into the game, particularly with Tom Delia at right back, where we know he's not the strongest there. And then things sort of got worse two minutes in with Bayer coming off injured, Rivich coming on. We know about his limitations, but on the whole, Watford competed really, really well against the league leaders, who admittedly, they were off it. I thought Leicester were really, really poor today. Um, and I, I think we probably deserved a point, to be honest with you. I'd said before that you don't get, I don't like the word deserved in football, and I still don't, to be fair. Um, but I think Watford's performance warranted a point, but we just lack that killer instinct again. Um, but like we've seen so many times this season, game started worst possible way. First 10 minutes, see Bayer goes off injured, chat for taxi, gives away a penalty, which uh, Daka was able to slot home. I think it was a very, very soft one, but I think it probably was a penalty just. I've seen a lot of opinions splitting on that. Um, now a few shaky moments, probably straight after the kickoff as well, Leicester nearly scored. Um, Watford held their own and, and really towards the end of that um, first half grew into it. We had a few set pieces which obviously didn't make it past the first man because of Watford. But we didn't create too many clear-cut opportunities. Second half comes, we started all right again but then Leicester were able to make it 2-0. Uh, I think it was Ricardo Pereira who scored, it was quite well worked but Porteous dried out of position and not aggressive enough, I don't think, but that's what the league leaders can do to you when they show their quality. Um, before, again, it looked like game over at that point, Leicester could run away with it, but we were gifted away back into it. Harry Winks tried to play it back to his goalkeeper, pass it straight to Emmanuel Dennis, who had an empty net to get his first goal back at Watford after something like over 600 days. Um, so really happy for him, and hopefully that can kickstart um, what could be a really productive second half of the season for him the front three as well were really good it was really dynamic when Dennis came on Dennis through the middle spray on the left right Andrews on the right and we looked a lot more dangerous than when we had uh Samo Rivic and Mateus Martins on the pitch um we created a few opportunities um Spreer came close deflected shot which went just wide Wes who had one from the halfway line which went wide uh, which I actually think he might slightly be disappointed with to be fair knowing with his pedigree, he had some space and the keep was off his line, but I think there were positives there. Again, the bingo card, the intangibles, the desire was there, even at times when we were right up against it. Um, but it's a challenging period for Watford at the moment. And I think with this team, like Val said in his press conference, they're young, they're learning, and we have to take, we have to take sort of the good with the bad. And I think there is a lot to learn this Watford side today and a lot of, of positives to take from it as well which hopefully we'll be able to put into the performance away at Norwich on Tuesday night I will be there at Carrow Road so make sure to like and subscribe for your reaction after that as well and we'll see you all soon I'll be on it